what's good everybody welcome back to yet another video it's been a minute <laughs> yo i am super exhausted but i just decided that you know what let me record this video i've always wanted to record it so basically i do write down the content that i want to make and i decided to finally shoot the video today even though i'm exhausted but anyway i hope i don't bring the energy down so let's yeah get straight into it so in today's video oh before i go straight to the video like i have a duke on it's my grandmother's I, I, okay that was not necessary but it's giving like makoti vibes it's giving like a yabo baba <laughs> so as you can tell by the title of the video so today i'm going to be talking about how i would learn to code if i were to start a game start from scratch okay so basically um sure i'm i'm a bit stuck between if i were to learn to code then and if i were to code now because if i knew then what i know now mm, okay so i'll just bring it to the now so if i were to learn how to code and also knowing that i never knew the what code was do you understand what i'm saying so I'll, I'll leave in an assumption that i don't know what code is what code b what code does okay but the my you know very first reference so when i think um coding right without thinking coding i would look at web applications i would look at websites i would look at gaming i would look at um mobile apps basically and look at um desktop you know applications you know think um at the bank when you go there they capture your information and whatnot so basically that's how i would look at it at first i would not learn a programming language because i don't think i would know if there's a programming language i mean given 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 what i what i what, what i knew back then i didn't even know that there was such a the code and i don't think i would have known it by now because it's just it's just it's not a thing you know it's not a thing um given that i grew up in a township um it's not an excuse but knowing what i know coming from a township i wouldn't have known what code is so basically hence i'm giving you an example of what would lead me to learn how to code so basically i would learn you know how to design interfaces because i think my first reference would be how to build a website let's say for instance maybe i would have started a business and i would like to build a website then go to go on google search how to create a website then they'll bring up things like your html and basic things of how to build a website so basically i would learn the ui first before i even learn about a programming language variables and all of that i would first learn how to build um a user interface and then advance to using css then javascript um depending on because obviously your my oh i'm saying your your is my okay yeah here we go again <laughs> so i would learn how to let's say i'm loving um i don't know something that moves and then probably do it in javascript or learn how to like that carousel i don't know how to say it and then like oh if you want things to like button clicks um that have no server side or whatever then use um javascript and stuff like that my my interest would build up to the the, the applications where you log in and um and register and do all sorts of things because i mean you don't really use instagram without um, registering your account and all of that stuff. So, I mean, you can still use it, but it won't be fun. <laughs> so basically, I would learn how the whole process, you know, of, of registering users and logging in and having access to your profile, those type of things, which then that would extend or lead me into learning about um, daughter, daughter. That would lead me to learning about data storage and you know the storing of data retrieval of data updating of data deleting of data and all of those things the basic operations that you know happen in the database then i would you know from there learn how to connect to the database i think 
immediately after learning the interface then you learn how to store and obviously you will have all those sql statements because i think sql is pretty much this not the standard but it's everywhere <laughs> it's everywhere so i would then learn like all those statements oh this is how you use them but in order for you to use them you need to use a language um you need to use um, a language which in this case would be c sharp c sharp is not the easiest language to learn with um but i think i would not base it off the fact that whether it's difficult or not but i would base it off the fact that it's things that are available online so i think what would be available online would be your c sharp or your visual basic but i think c sharp is pretty much prominent okay or i would use a different language i don't think a language matters let me not involve lang like what language but let me just say in general that i would pick a programming language so whichever one that will be easy for me to learn i would go into google obviously and, and search oh how to do you understand so from there i would then learn the basics of the language basics i mean um so obviously there'll be code that i will have seen or whatever from online and stuff but i would know i need to know what it means and all of that then i would learn basic things like your variables depending on what the website is teaching where there's like information or whatever youtube video would be teaching me then i would learn simple things like your variables your functions your methods your whatever you know things that are available and then from there i would then need to learn how to connect to the database on top of having learned how to write basic code and then from there i would then need to learn how to manipulate data um me learning how to manipulate data would mean that i need to then move further and learn about data structures and basic algorithms so basically you like either you know to build algorithms to use the data structures you can't use a data structure independently you need to insert delete like all op sorts of operations that you're able to do uh, in data structures and obviously you will need to use like your fill for each your whatever whatever your four statements your loops and all the basic things that you might need and then um so going back to to database i would also learn how to design the database because you know <laughs> you don't just store you need to design it and you know that i think i think these the 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 online you know teaching people are smart enough to teach you about um the really if because i mean if it's sql then it's like relational database so obviously the entities are related okay and then what i would then learn is after learning how to manipulate whatever whatever data structures and basic algorithms then i i think that's it <laughs> I think that's it i think as 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 time goes basically i think my my thing like behind it would build building an application that i see it would i would base off my learning how to code based off the applications that i see and then yeah which is like web because i mean like i said it will start from a website and then what i would then later do is i mean i remember at some point there was a lobola calculator that everyone went bananas over back in the day and yeah you know things like that um and then probably they would raise fascination because for as much as you know there's a there's a instagram application there's a facebook application but you would think that it's out of this world but like learning that there's a lobola calculator that was designed and created by a south african um i stand to be corrected i'm not sure i stand to be corrected and then you know then you would like from there you start to see that those things are not too far-fetched anyone can do it okay not anyone let's not lie but anyway yeah and then from there learn um ides or frameworks that i can use to develop mobile apps so i think one of the famous is 
Android Studio, but now that we're talking about the now Xamarin is quite famous. Um, so like pretty much learn how to design um, the UI still of the mobile app and all of that stuff. Then you realize that, oh, oops, actually I need to connect to the database. And then that you would go and learn how to create like um, web services, web APIs, whatever. And then to send data from your mobile application to your database from your database to the mobile application so yeah and that's pretty much it and obviously you would go to like deploying or having learning about cloud databases to connect to your mobile app because you can't if it's if it's local um and then you go you know to, to to cloud databases and also get to obviously deploying your database to like hosting it and i think that's pretty much it like i can't think of anything i mean like i would google things obviously like pretty much along the way and also knowing naledi basically that's pretty much it i think that's 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 all i would do i hope you did enjoy the video please share experiences and also to the people who are self-taught developers i'd be very interested to know how you learned about code or how you learned how to code um and all of that stuff it's it really is like interesting to me because before i went to school i never knew the what code looked like what code was what code be so you're a man like yo guys you are smart <laughs> and also like i had no information whatsoever about coding so maybe because it was back in the day okay it was like back in like 2013 so it's like almost 10 years ago so shags i'm old shags but anyway thank you so much guys for watching i see you i'll see you on the next video